In this video, I'm going to be doing some benchmarking of these two GTX 560 Ti two win cards. Take a closer look at them. I've got them configured in SLI, so this would make a quad SLI of GTX 560 Ti's. And the test bench we're working with is a Core i7-920 at 3.3 gigahertz. Um, there's 12 gigabytes of G-Skill memory, and this is an EVGA X58 uh, classified 3 motherboard. Okay, so anyway, we've got the system fired up, and now let's get into the uh, benchmark itself. Well, I'll be damned. We have the connector there to, uh, you know, SLI these two cards together. But, unfortunately, NVIDIA does not support the SLIing of two GTX 560 Ti to win. Or, I've, in my reading, found out it doesn't support the 460 to win either. So while they have the fingers there for SLIing, the uh, drivers themselves do not support it, and which is unfortunate, but uh, one of the things I was looking for when I uh, came to my determination here, let me kind of bring it over to the monitor, is right there. You can see clearly the option I have a uh, SLI enabled up top there for maximum performance but it will not take all four GPUs so that kinda sucks but I guess uh, what do you do unfortunately um, it's not gonna let us do quad SLI it'll allow this particular one to do physics so, I mean you'll basically have an SLI configuration and a physics uh, card which I really don't care about I was kind of hoping more to be able to quad SLI them but unfortunately none of the drivers support it and I guess that's the way it's always going to be you can quad SLI the 590 but that is the only one that the drivers support so anyway major disappointment but uh, as always thank you guys for watching